Hiya! Right, so this is the 2021 layouts, part of the 550-ish that I'm filing this time around. Um, and uh, yeah, this is the biggest pile. So 2020 was pretty big, 2021 is even bigger. Uh, then it significantly reduces in 22 and even more so in 23. I appreciate that 23 is not finished yet. Um, but um, but yeah, I left a few teams and therefore my scrapping went right down. So um, anyway, this is the biggie, the really big one. So I might... Um, do this in two halves, um, but uh, we'll, we'll see how we go. So, and I'm going to whiz through as quickly as I possibly can. So, I'm pretty sure this one was for Bramble Fox and was using a hit, hip, hit, no, hip kit club um, kit. Um, also, hip kit club kit. I think I did that for hip kit club. I love all the hexagon paper folding. Um, this one again was a hip kit club kit but for Bramble Fox with lockdown version 2.0 um, yeah and a pear tree cut file um, this one was um, for hip kit club using one of their kits and they are all super cute um, this one was for Lottie Loves Paper using Coffee and Friends by Echo Park this one was for hip kit club um, using one of their cut files this one um, don't know. <laughs> um, definitely hip kit club, but don't know if I did it for them or it was part of a challenge or or something. I'm not entirely sure on that one. This one was for hip kit and yeah, beautiful. Did the window. I don't know if that was a. I don't know if that was their cut file. I think it was for hip kit. It might be from Bramble Fox because I've used the Bramble Fox perspective and I wouldn't have done if it was for hip kit. So I think it must have been for Bramble Fox. This one was Hip Kit. I've used this cut file, which I drew and then traced, and this um, little cut file that's lots of white. Um, and then I fringed these hearts as well, which is pretty cool. Um, I can't remember if they came that way or if I did them. I think I did them. Anyway, I'm not sure. They might have come pre-made, but I think they're imp imperfect, so I reckon I must have made them. This was for a Go Go Getaway class um, using a... Valentine's collection, which I can't remember the name of. <laughs> this one is was for a Paige Evans guest design, and this is using Go the Scenic Route collection and one of her cut files. This one was a Go Go Getaway challenge, I think, which was to use all white or only white. So I have black and white photos. I have white snowflakes on the background that are cut on the silhouette. This was a pear tree cut file. This was a bramble fox. Um, and I've only used white embellishments. So that was a pretty cool layout. I, pre I really love that one. And I've got little gems and sequins as well. Um, this one was for Shimmer's Paints and I've got texture paints in the background and I've got uh, cut files that have been colored in and lots of bramble fox perspectives on here. Um, this one, again, I think must be for Lottie Loves Paper, who, uh, because I've used Coffee and Friends by Echo Park Paper. Um, and, um, yep, yeah, lots of lovely things on there. Um, don't know. <laughs> Definitely a pear tree cut file, um, but I can't remember why I made it. Maybe for Bramble Fox with these perspectives on it. Yeah, possibly. Um, this one again, Coffee and Friends, Echo Park for Lottie Loves Paper and a cut file by Pear Cut Files. This one was um, for Bramble Fox again and again using a Hip Kit Club and uh, Pear Tree Cut Files um, cut file. <laughs> this one was for Hip Kit and again that's their cut file, not one of Marie's. That was theirs, Hip Kit's one and that was all from the Hip Kit. This one I think I did for, I think it was a, I don't know if it was for Lottie Loves Paper or a Go-Go Challenge, but the paper collection is Little Dreamer by Echo Park. Um, I think it was Lottie Loves Paper, pretty sure there was a sketch. Um, another one for using um, Coffee and Friends and Pear Tree Cut File. Um, this was another one of the guest designs for Paige Evans and the uh, Go the Scenic Route. This one was for Hip Kit, I think. I'm pretty sure it's definitely using a Hip Kit Club um, papers. 
Um, this was definitely Hip Kit Club as well. Um, this one was for Bramble Fox using some of their Disney inspired items um, and the collection was Say Cheese by Simple Stories. This one, Hip Kit Club, one of their cut files. This one, also Hip Kit Club, uh, just lots of circles. Uh, this one, um, probably for Bramble Fox, Embrace Chaos. And the collection is that same Little Dreamer by um, Echo Park Paper. It was a really cute collection. Um, okay, this one is a double layout. Double layout with an insert. So the insert will sit in the folder, um, not in a page protector. Um, and there's, um, I'm pretty sure this comes out as well. Let's see. Oh, look, more photos. <laughs> wow, so there was an awful lot of photos on this layout. I think that was probably the point of the class. It was a go-go day away class. And this is a Maggie Holmes collection. Um, I'm not sure which one. Um, yeah. All right, so that's that one. Whoop. <laughs> um, this one, um, I'm pretty sure the papers are Hip Kit Club, um, and definitely that journaling card is, but this was for a go-go challenge for sure. Um, and I've used my ready to go-go, uh, which we have made especially by Bramble Fox, um, for the team. This one was for Shimmer's Paints. That's one of their cut files. Collection is um, Simple Stories, uh, Bunnies and Blooms, one of my favorite collections ever. Um, this one was made at Go Go Getaway. Um, this is not designed by me. So this is designed by the fabulous Anna Commender. Um, and um, yeah, she came and guest designed for us, but unfortunately, um, she wasn't able to come because we have the, had the COVID restrictions. So I had to make the layouts and um, go around the room and show them. So that was my version of Anna's layout. Very cute. Oops. Um, another Little Dreamer collection. Um, I'm pretty sure that was for a Go Go Getaway challenge. I think there was a sketch involved in that one too. Um, this one is Maggie Holmes Garden Party. I think for Bramble Fox or for Lottie Loves Paper. This one was for Bella Boulevard, um, Springtime, that's one of their cut files and one of their, and a lot of the Bella Besties I think I've used um, in, in that. So that is the first pile and there's four more. I think I'm going through a bit quicker than I did 2020. Oh, lost some hearts there. Okay, so that's pile number one. number two. Um, Garden Party um, by Maggie Holmes and I think I made that either for Bramble Fox or Lottie Loves Paper. I have, let's move that out. Oh, right okay another one by another Garden Party layout I'm pretty sure for Lottie Loves Paper. This one was for Bramble Fox but I've used Hip Kit Club um, and then those are the Bramble Fox perspectives, the little trees and that one and those words. Um, this one was for Simple Stories. Um, so this is the Full Bloom collection. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if that was early days on my Simple Stories um, journey, maybe. That was for Shimmer's Paints. That's one of their cut files and um, I painted behind all of those and did the background. Plus I've got Bramble Fox perspectives on here too. This was Bella Boulevard. Um, I can't remember the name of that collection. Um, something like outdoors or camping or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. This one was, oh, I think for, I don't know if it was for Lottie Loves Paper or um, it might have been, or it might have been a guest design for Pear Tree Cut Files. Can't remember. I know that she made this, Toddlosaurus, because that's what I always used to call him. Um, and I'm sure she did that for me. Not because I asked, but just because I, I inspired her because I always called him that. Um, but yeah, I can't remember why I made the layout. I'm not quite sure if it was for a team or not. Uh, this one was Hip Kit Club with one of their cut files. This was for Hip Kit Club, but it was... Um, a double and it was for a challenge. So we did sketches, we did a sketchathon one time and uh, I helped uh, do that and I did the double um, page sketch for that one. So that is that. Um, then this one was for um, Bella Boulevard, using that collection that I can't remember the name of. <laughs> this one was Maggie Holmes Garden Party. Um, 
maybe Lossy Loss Paper, maybe Bramble Fox. Uh, I can't remember exactly who. Look at those lovely hearts, glittery hearts. Um, this one, I think, was um, either a scrap lift or it was something like a YouTube hop or something like that. That is definitely Maggie Holmes' Garden Party. That is Hip Kit Club. That one is an extra inspiration layout for a go-go getaway class using um, Jen Hadfield, I think, Better Together. <laughs> this one was um, for a go-go getaway or go-go day away class with a full page photo. This uses Simple Storage, Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden. Um, yeah. This is Bella Boulevard and Bella Besties and their cut files. Um, this one is Paige Evans Go the Scenic Route. Can't remember why I made the layout. It might be, I think it's an extra inspiration actually for a class, a day away class. This is very loose, I need to get a repair kit. Um, this one, um, Lottie Loves Paper, Bunnies and Blooms, I think. I think, or maybe, no, I don't think so. Bramble Fox, only one little bit. Don't know. Oh, lost a bit. Um, this one is definitely Maggie Holmes' Garden Party, and I've also mixed in a bit of um, Bunnies and Blooms. I believe this was Hip Kit Club. I think it came with those two collections in, in the kit. Uh, I think that's where that one, and probably that one, that one came from. This was definitely Lottie Loves Paper, using that Bunnies and Blooms collection by Simple Stories. Um, this one was Hip Kit Club and their cut file there. This one was for Bramble Fox and that uses bunnies and blooms. This one is the Family Fun Collection by Simple Stories and I think that was an extra inspiration layout for a class at a go-go getaway. That's a puzzle. That photo is a photo of a puzzle, which is a puzzle made out of a photo. <laughs> um, simple Vintage um farmhouse garden by simple stories this was for an instagram hop i think this is also the same collection simple vintage farmhouse garden love the chickens always goes very well there we spent a lot of time at this farm so <laughs> anything farm themed worked well for me um this was maggie holmes i think garden party a little bit of bunnies and blooms in there i think that was made for hip kit club this one was for a go-go day away, and that is the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden. Same collection, also I think an extra inspiration layout. Um, this one was for Hip Kit Club, again, Garden Party and Bunnies and Blooms. I'm sure it was those two. Um, this one was Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden, again, I think that was made for Simple Stories. Um, this one it was made for Bramble Fox. Uh, love that adventure, escape the trees, all awesome things. And this collection was the travel collection by Simple Storage. I think it was called Safe Travels, I think. Same collection, Safe Travels, and again for Bramble Fox. Don't know where the cut file came from. Um, Bella Boulevard, full size photo, um, using the To The Moon collection, I think that is. Um, this one, again, that same collection, Safe Travels by Simple Stories and is for Bramble Fox. This all just went really well. This Their their whole um, perspective at the time, plus this collection went really well together. They're good at that. Um, uh, this is the Simple Vintage Farmhouse Garden again. I think that was an extra inspiration layout. And that one is Bella Boulevard using the besties. And I made those fabulous heart-shaped um, concertina things mummy 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 that's i get, I get that a lot <laughs> right that is um pile two complete of 2021 how are we doing for time I'm only 14 minutes that's not too bad I'm whizzing through them compared to the previous uh previous one okay on to pile number three um, right Oh, this was, I think, a go-go extra inspiration layout. I've lost a piece of this here, um, but that's using Vicky Bootin, and I think that was colour theory, colour study, one of those. This is the paper flowers made for a go-go getaway class. They're made out of book print um, and watercolours. They're really cool. I really love those. That was the Paige Evans Wonders collection. 
This one was another one made by the fabulous Anna Commenda um, at our Go Go Getaway. So I copied her layout so that I could show everybody um, at the retreat. And we had uh, stamped flowers and paper weaving. It was fabulous. Um, this one, I think, oof, don't know. Lottie loves paper, maybe. I think garden party, I think. Maggie Holmes. This one was Maggie Holmes' garden party, I think, and is also by Anna Commenda. That's definitely one of her layouts as well, but I made it, again, to show people the retreat. The balloons, they're so cool. Um, giant rosette, love those. Um, that was for Bella Boulevard. This one was for Go Go Getaway, double spread, and um, used Vicky Booty in colour study or colour theory. I can't remember which one it is. I think it's colour study. Oh, we've got a little interrupter come into, come into the room. Yeah. You're right. I need a wee. You need a wee. Off you go then. Okay, all right. Okay, well done. Well done. Awesome. Um, so, um, this one was for Lottie Loves Paper using the Garden Party collection by Maggie Holmes. This one, Bella Boulevard, To the Moon. Um, this one was uh, My Candy Girl by Bella Boulevard. This one was a Go Go Getaway class. Used Jen Hadfield, I think it's called Better Together. And they are big mobile phone shaker pockets. So that was pretty pretty cool class. Um, that one I think was Hip Kit Club and that is Paige Evans Wonders. Um, again, I think for Hip Kit Club, but I think the collection is um, Pink Fresh Studio. Don't quote me on the actual name of the collection. This is the other one of the layouts by Anna Commenda. Um, Garden Party. Um, yeah, and so this is her layout, but I made it um, because I needed to show everyone at the retreat. This one was Bella Boulevard um, and a variety. I think that was a bit of Candy Girl and then some Bella Besties. Oh, that's because he, my little one, used to call Sophie Shishi. He couldn't say Sophie, so that's what he called her, Shishi, which was so cute. He can say it now, which is a bit sad. Uh, this was Simple Vintage Cottage Fields um, by Simple Stories, and I'm pretty sure that was for a go-go day away class. Yeah, we did the stitching on the photo there and there. Um, Hip Kit Club. Um... Bramble Fox using Paige Evans Wonders. I made this like floral border, which was pretty cool. Loads of Bramble Fox perspectives on here. This was for Simple Stories using the Simple Vintage Coastal Collection, which is just the most beautiful collection I think I've ever seen. Um, this is a double and was made for a go-go day away class. There we go. It's cool. I loved, I oh, used Nouveau Drops for a stencil. Um, although what we did was we drew the, um, we drew through the stencil and then just put the dots on and it just came out so well. <laughs> um, great little technique. All right. So that's that one. Um, again, Simple Vintage Cottage Fields by Simple Stories. I think that was for a go-go layout. Um, this one, I think, oh goodness. Done for hip kit, I think. At, oh, I don't know, because that's pear tree cut files. Um, so, not sure. Um, but this collection is Pink Fresh Studio collection, I think. Maybe Happy Blooms? Maybe. Uh, Shimmer's Paints. Simple Stories, for sure. That is the beautiful Simple Simple Vintage Lemon Twist, one of my favourite collections. Bizarrely, because I don't really have anything to do with lemons. Um, but lemons and bees, I just love the citrusy colours. I just loved it. Um, that one was for a Go Go Day Away class. And that is Simple Stories, I think, Sunny Days. Um, sunny something. This was Bella Boulevard. This one was for Hip Kit. This was Shimmer's Paints. My goodness, there's a lot going on on that layout. We'll just move on, let's move swiftly on. Um, this one, again, was the Simple Vintage um, Lemon Twist by Simple Stories. This was for Simple Stories. I loved this layout so much. Um, one of my favourites. Um, that is the Summery Collection. Oh, goodness, what's it called? Um, I say Sunny Days, I think I, I want to call it. Or Sunshine on My Mind, something like that. No, I don't think so. Right, this is Howdy Collection by Simple Stories. It's a really cute collection. 
that one and that one. I just happened to have a little cowboy in the house at the time. Um, this one was for a go-go um, challenge, I think maybe a cyber crop. That is that Simple Stories Safe Travels collection. This one was for a day away uh, class and I think that is an Echo Park collection. I can't tell you what it's called. <laughs> Uh, this one was Simple Stories, um, Simple Vintage Berry Fields, that one. More farm photos, always works for me. Uh, that is Hip Kit Club and some shimmers, uh, or some, no, I don't know if it's shimmers, some texture paste behind there and one of their cut files. This one was Simple Stories using Wildflower. This is a recent, more recent collection. Don't forget, I, scrap, I go backwards to scrapbook, so... I'm, you know, I mostly scrap up to date photos, but occasionally I will reach into the archives to find something that I haven't scrapped yet or a story I haven't told yet. And that's what happened on, on this layout. I think I just had those photos printed. So this one, um, pear tree cut files, I seem to remember. I think it was a guest design and I've used the Simple Stories Safe Travels collection again. This was for Hip Kit Club. This one was also for Hip Kit Club. And this one was Bella Boulevard using To The Moon, I think. And this one was um, another one by Simple Stories, Full Bloom. I love, cool, the diagonals. I thought that was really cool. I went with the lines on the paper. It worked really well. I was happy with how that one turned out. Okay, that is pile number three complete. And we are only 21 minutes. So that's good. Might get through the next two piles as well. <laughs> if you're still with me, well done. Three, four. This is uh, what I made. Whoops, sorry, I'm moving the camera. This is what I made. This one I made. Diff bleh, I can't speak. I've lost the will to speak. Um, this was for Hip Kit Club, and we had to do a challenge, and it was black, white, and yellow. I was like, oh, goodness, how am I going to do that? So anyway, I made a football, um, and I coloured it in using my Copic markers and kind of tried to bring it to life. Not sure how successful I was, but it looks okay. I definitely managed the challenge. This one, I think, oh, maybe Hip Kit Club, maybe, maybe Pink Fresh Studio, but why? I don't know why. I think Hip Kit Club. Definitely hip kit club. I texture pasted all of the um, cut file. It's really beautiful in real life. You can't see the glitter, I don't think, on camera, but it was really lovely. I love that layout. Um, that one was also hip kit club. This was, I think, for Lossy Loves Paper or Bramble Fox using the Bungalow Lane collection by Paige Evans. This was, I can't remember the name of the collection, but more folded hexagons. And that was... Um, for a go-go dayway class. That was, and that should say bounce. I've got the B downstairs, I found it. I didn't know what it was from. Uh, I'm pretty sure it must be Hip Kit Club. I think this Vicky Bootin colour study came in the Hip Kit. Um, definitely Hip Kit. That was a guest design for Chamel, and I used the Witches and Wizards collection by Echo Park Paper to document Harry Potter. And that one, I think, was a go-go getaway challenge. Again, I've used um, the same collection. Bella Boulevard. Um, Bella Boulevard to the moon. Um, Simple Stories, Happy Nope, School Life. Again, Simple Stories, School Life. And again, Simple Stories, School Life. I don't know why I made them. I should go back a bit. Um, maybe they are... F no, I don't think they were four simple stories. They must have been for other reasons. Maybe I just did these for fun so that I could document those photos. Um, that was a sketch. I think it was for Go Go Getaway. This one was a Go Go class. That is Pink Fresh Studio. I think that is Happy Blooms. Family Fun by Simple Stories for a Go Go Getaway class. Go Go Getaway class or Go Go Day Away class. Um, do they lift up? No. Um, love the hexagons. Again, I can't, Echo Park collection. Can't remember the name of that. Um, Hip Kit Club. Hip Kit Club. Oh, look at the other side of that. Wow. Um, go Go Getaway class. Not my finest layout. Um, also a Go Go Getaway class. That's using Simple Stories. 
Happy Hearts, which was a great collection. I loved it. I loved the navy blue in it. Um, this one, I think, is an extra inspiration layout for a Go Go Day Away class. This one was for Bella Boulevard and all the bright colours. I can't remember the name of the collection, but um, yeah. Uh, Hip Kit Club. Love all the borders. Um, I'd put that over a big photo, so that worked out really well. I love that layout. And this was another big photo layout um, for Simple Stories. We did this for an Instagram hop, and I think this one is the Sunny Days uh, collection. No. Um, maybe it was, I can't remember. <laughs> Um, that was Amy Tangerine Speciality Paper for sure. Not sure why I made the layout. May have been Go Go. Not quite sure. Um, this was definitely a Go Go Getaway Day Away class. Uh, this was an extra inspiration layout um, for a Go Go Day a Go Go Getaway class, um, and didn't have much left to use, so I really made what I could out of what I had. This was also an extra inspiration layout for a go go class this one was for lottie loves paper that was definitely a sketch and the collection is bungalow lane by simple no page evans also bungalow lane also a sketch also for lottie loves paper this was an extra inspiration class um layout for a class a go go class and this is also bungalow lane hip kit club bella boulevard I think that was maybe using Bella Besties. Um, yeah, anyway, there's not a huge amount on it. I can't remember where these bees were from. I can't remember the name of that collection. This is a double. And there we go. It's from the Sunflower Festival with rolled paper and rolled photos. So that was a pretty cool um, technique. That was a class we did at Go Go Getaway. It's very heavy. That's going to take up a lot of room in my page protectors. Um, that was an extra inspiration layout for one of the go-go classes. That was Bungalow Lane for Lottie Loves Paper. This was an extra inspiration using, I think, I think Vicky Bootin, maybe, I think. I'm pretty sure. I don't know which collection. Uh, that was definitely Bella Boulevard and it was the To The Moon collection because I had to do an awesome layout using the To The Moon collection, which was really challenging. So I mostly just picked out colours and went with generic things and used some cut files in the background you can see there. And I made these cute little ears of corn. Just adorable. Um, School Life by Simple Stories. Don't know why I made it. Um, Could have been... I don't know why it was. Um... Hip Kit Club, and this one was for Lottie Loves Paper, I think, and again is Bungalow Lane by Paige Evans. Lots going on there. Um, okay, so we're 28 minutes. I have only one pile to go, so I'm storming through this lot. I did much better than the one I filmed earlier today for 2020. <laughs> okay. Right, pile five. And this is the last pile, but it is quite big. Okay. This is was for Hip Kit Club. That was a go-go class. Um, that's definitely a Vicky Bootin. Um, oh, I can't remember what it was called. Uh, oh, I can't remember. Um, Hip Kit. Hip Kit. Lottie Loves Paper, I've got some problems. This was supposed to be up here, but it's proper stuck. So I'm gonna have a little repair kit before I file the layouts and see if I can sort that out. Um, oh, love this collection. Harvest Market by Simple Stories. Um, and yeah, I cut around all of these, very sweet. I think that was for Simple Stories as well. This was definitely for Simple Stories and was using that same collection. I love the Scarecrow, he's so adorable. This was for Hip Kit Club. This was the Go Go class, a little shake, big shaker pocket there, using the Simple Stories. Oh, was it called Crafty Girls or was it called Feeling Crafty? Can't remember the name of it exactly, but it was the craft collection. There's a few of these. I should have looked at the name of that. 
Um, there we go, another one. I love this, procrastinating, just fabulous. Um, there was a lot going on on this layout. Um, it was um, a class for Go Go Getaway. Okay, straw, little pocket. Very cool, loved it. Um, origami heart there, paperclip stencil. Again, same collection. Let's Get Crafty, maybe it was called. Um, I think that was for a Go Go Getaway challenge, like a cyber crop. These are for, for Simple Stories, and this was the Simple Vintage Weathered Garden Collection. And, yeah, <laughs> I made it for Simple Stories. Same collection, same assignment. Lovely, very pretty. Um, again, the Let's Get Crafty Collection by Simple Stories. That was an extra inspiration layout for Go Go. And so was this. <laughs> Um, Halloween, this is the re most recent collection by Simple Stories. This is this year's, so this is fabulous. Um, this year's collection, and um, but I've gone back to 2021 to scrapbook those photos because I still had a number of them printed and ready to scrap. So there we go. That one again is fabulous from this year. This is last year. Oh, and that was, um, I've got written on the back, look, For the Love of Pretty Paper, October sketch. I think I'm going to do this um, going forward so I remember what they're all for because um, my 2020 video was shocking. <laughs> I didn't know any of them. Um, so, um, yeah, this was a sketch for Lottie Loves Paper, uh, not Lottie Loves Paper, For the Love of Pretty Paper. This one uh, was Spooky Nights Collection, which was... I think that was the 2021 collection because last year's I think was Simple Vintage October 31st. So I think this is the 2021 collection called Spooky Nights. It was really cool. I loved it. I loved this collection. And that's another one. That was a guest design for Petri Cut Files. Um, how cool is that? Um, Hip Kit Club. I Look, I embossed all the wooden leaves with um, black embossing powder, which was pretty cool. Um... Simple Vintage October 31st for Simple Stories of last year. Um, this one is uh, Happy Hearts by Simple Stories. And I know I've got a Valentine's collection after Halloween, which doesn't make any sense, but those photos were taken in November. So, <laughs> um, Hip Kip. Hearth and Home by Simple Stories. Cute, hey, very cute. Um, to the Moon by Bella Boulevard, one of their page um, cut file things. Um, this was Hip Kit Club. This was a class at Go Go Getaway using Simple Vintage Cottage Fields and some perspectives by Bramble Fox. Um, this was um, for Hip Kit Club. Um, this one also for Hip Kit Club. I always love their um, November kits. Oh. A problem up there get that back in place um also hip kit club uh, i tried my best to do some origami and it ended up being really thick so it didn't quite work out the way i'd hoped but um it was it, it was pretty cool just a bit too big um this one is again one of my all-time favorite layouts um so this is for hip kit club and i made all the paper baubles uh ornaments um all hanging down with our photos in the middle. So I loved that layout. That was for Hip Kit. Um, Happy Hearts by Simple Stories. This was for a Go Go Getaway class. Um, the extra inspiration from that class. Hip Kit Club. Bella Boulevard using, oh, oh uh, come let us adore him. I think it was just called let us adore door him I think it was called um simple stories and this was the make it merry collection I think or was it jolly holidays um uh make it merry or holidays I think may have been a bit of a mixture of both this one was definitely make it merry and that was an extra inspiration layout Oh, was that last year mix and mingle? Can't remember. <laughs> Might be mix and mingle, I think. Uh, I think made for Lotte paper, and that was the Pink for Studio collection. Um, Happy Hearts. 
This one was for Simple Stories and it was using the, oh, what was it called? Um, so like this year it's called Noteworthy, I think. You know the Project Lifestyle one? Good Stuff, it's called Good Stuff. That one and that one is also Good Stuff. Um, that was an extra inspiration layout for a Go Go Day Away and that was an Echo Park collection. Um, this is, I think, Holidays by Simple Stories. Um, and that was for Simple Stories. Um, Hip Kit Club, very wintry layout. Again, Hip Kit Club, very wintry. We were in Florida, so <laughs> wasn't ideal. Um, this one, I think, is an Echo Park paper collection. And I think this was an extra inspiration layout for Go Go Day Away. This was definitely an extra inspiration for Go Go Getaway. And this was um, Simple Vintage Cottage Fields, Hip Kit Club. Scrap lift. You may remember that you've already seen this layout in a completely different colorway, um, and this was a scrap lift challenge of that layout. Um, so uh, that one is using oh, what's it called? Um, no limits collection by simple no by Coco Vanilla Studio. This one is baking spirits bright. How cute is that? I love the gingerbread men. So that was last year's Christmas collection. One of last year's Christmas collections. Um, yeah, I did that. I think for simple stories. That one is a go-go getaway class using Simple Stories Say Cheese at the Park. Um, no Limits collection again. I think I made that either for Bramble Fox or for Lottie Loves Paper. Um, another Pink Fresh Studio layout, I think for Lottie Loves Paper using maybe a Pear Tree Cut file. I've got Bramble Fox Seagulls and I think it might have been using Pink Fresh Studio uh happy blooms is that right happy blooms i think i think i made it for lots of less paper uh this one i love this one <laughs> uh was for bella boulevard that was using their cutouts um and spiegel mum scrap sequins and lots of fun things on there i love that one just love the dark background and the colors in the cut file it just works really well um and this one is simple vintage cottage fields by Simple Stories, and that was the 31st of December 2021, so we're right all the way up to New Year's Eve. So that is me done for 2021. That means all these can be gone and put in albums now. So that's what I'll be doing for the rest of the evening. All right, well, I say, if you are, I don't, that was a lot of layouts, I didn't count them. Um, once they're in albums, I might count the page protectors and figure out um, what, uh, how many there are, but uh, if you're still with me, well done, you're a trooper. <laughs> okay, that was 2021 layouts. Okay, um, and I'll come back with 2022 and 2023 layouts as well. Bye!